Hey guys, it's me, Jeff Bryant, and uh, I'm a recent uh, owner of a Polaris 2019 slingshot, and I bought the base model. I was looking around for something that uh, actually had the radio, but I came across a good deal, uh, very, very low miles on the 2019, and uh, still have warranty and all that, so I bought this. But one of the things I realized real quickly was uh, I was missing a radio because I had a Can-Am Spider before that. And um, so I looked around on the internet for, uh, man, I guess I've been looking for probably a couple months. Uh, of course, you know, with the S model, as you got here, you know, you have uh, no speaker pods, no anything. And uh, so... I looked around trying to find where somebody could give a common sense solution, at least uh, for the a short duration, uh, because I didn't want to spend $1,500, $2,000 for sound just to have a radio in the car. Um, got a lot of things that I'm wanting to do besides spending a couple grand for a radio to put in my slingshot, at least for the time being. And uh, yesterday I came across and I found uh, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even looking for it, but I was at Walmart and I found these Boss speakers. I don't have the box. I wish I had brought it out, but uh, I made a video yesterday, but I wanted to do one out outside of the garage in the daytime where you could see it. But these were uh, motorcycle speakers, weatherproof. Uh, they're Bluetooth speakers. So... I was able for $69 and, and some change plus tax, I bought them, not knowing if I could make them work or not, And uh, but I just want to show you real quick, I think, uh, again, these are Bluetooth. So now I've got tunes, man. When I look into the mirror, I realize how quickly... Now, what I did, here, if you look at this, right here is uh, the volume control, and I've got that double side tape, I've stuck it there. And I wanted to show you, uh, of course now, I don't know how much you can hear, but let's show you the volume range. You can definitely hear it going down the road, no issue at all. And again, these are Bluetooth, so I am uh, uh, doing this off my phone, iPad, or whatever they want to do. But I just wanted to show you real quickly how to do this, how I ended up. Now, first off, the first challenge that I had was the clamps for this actually were made for a handlebar. And... I just got this done yesterday evening, and so I've actually pulled this out and going to do a little more tidy work on it, but I just wanted to show you what we had done. Um, right here, the clamp wasn't big enough. Of course, this tab goes into this slot, and then you've got a screw on the other side that tightens down and compresses on the handlebar. Well, this bar is larger than a handlebar, and so I was trying to figure out what could I do? Uh, and so really just as an interim fix and, and I'll try to do something else, but along the same lines, a little prettier, I guess. Um, but in desperation, I took some baling wire and I just made a loop and I hooked it on this tab, put it through, there's a little slot right here, put it through the slot, pulled it up and then just wrapped it. Uh, you got a bolt on this side right here. I tightened that bolt up and uh, it was, man, it just cinched right around the bar. And so I was really pleased with that. Now it comes with an, a rocker switch for on off. And again, this is all waterproof. And uh, so I decided to put it right here. And so I can turn it on right here and you'll hear it probably turn it in, but there, to turn it on. Yeah, now it's looking for something to hook up to. There's off. Now, what I did was this, and um, I wish I could pause this for you all, but I'll just tell you real quickly and try not to make this any longer than it is. Um, 
this right here comes out. So if you're a new slingshot owner and you've got a base model and you're looking for a very common sense way to put tunes into your vehicle so you can ride around and listen to some music, I got $70 invested in what you've got right here. $70. Uh, you know, speaker pods. You're talking $500 for speaker pods if you minus the speakers, as I was looking around in a lot of places. So um, I, uh, I found those, and I thought maybe surely I can use them. Oh man, they work. They work excellent. Going down the road, uh, I've been up 60, 70 miles an hour on it, and I am telling you, you can you can just hear so good. Now, this is how I did it. If you lift this up, you kind of pry a little bit, and there's some tabs that it it just pops in place. Those will pop out, and when you do, this pocket right here literally just pulls straight out. You take this out, and then this pocket just pulls straight out. And uh, once you pull it straight out, you're going to be looking inside. You, you can actually see the, the, the engine and, and through the firewall aspect. But once you pull this out, you'll, you'll see down at the bottom, even the base models, at least the 2019, has the wiring harness and everything for uh, the factory radio. So it's, it's got literally plug and play for uh, backup camera. Of course, you'd have to put the camera on, but for a backup camera, for the factory radio, etc. So I found a tester, and uh, I found me a hot wire uh, spliced into that hot wire. And of course, with this out, what I did on my speakers, as you can see, of course, I'm going to kind of reroute some things and pretty it up a little. Oh, I'm sorry. You have seen my turn signal. But all this right here is going out through underneath the hood so if you will lift this hood up you can route your wires right up and uh, if I had a way to stop and pause this I would but I don't but you could you lift your hood come right out on your firewall you can lay the wire right in behind the firewall the, the wire is virtually invisible bring it right through here your hot wire I tie it into the hot wire here and uh, just simply ground to find a ground hook up to your your hot which is on this switch mounted those speakers and man there it was and uh so it was uh the longest it took for me was figuring out what i could do to extend this and make this work or even uh possibly change this now one of the, i will say this one of the big things that's an obstacle as far as I'm trying to show you this I'm getting kind of close all this right here you cannot remove it you can take it off but it slides down and, and you can't uh, slide it completely off because uh, at the end of the wire it's got clips and everything else that holds that on so uh, honestly I think I could have if I could have backed that nut and removed the nut, okay, if I could remove that lock nut right there, I think the factory clamps would have worked without me having to use the bailing wire. I really do, but um, yeah, I may get feeling squirrely and try to do something different. But for right now, uh, you know, it's, it's really amazing to me how for $70, I put this in and I did it by myself. I'm, I'm no great uh, uh, modifier of vehicles or something like that, but if I can do it, just about anybody can do it. And of course, you know, see, I've got mine set up hot all the time, but when you pull that out and you take your tester, you right next to the hot wire that's hot all the time, was basically an accessory wire that was only hot when you had this on or when you turned it to park. Um, I almost went that route, but I decided since it had a rocker switch and I could turn it on and off, that uh, I would just do it hot all the time because, um, you know, you may be outside and want to listen to the radio a little bit or whatever. But anyway, I hope that this is a little better, a little clearer picture. Now, let me show you again from outside what it looks like and I was really pleased with 
what it actually looks like on the slingshot. Um, it actually turned out really well. I mean, and again, seventy dollars. Um, you know, you can get you an iPod or whatever and hook up your music or if you're where you're at you can get internet radio on whatever device you got that if you got some kind of data on it uh, your phone etc but it worked out really well and i never found a video of anybody doing anything like this so this is why i wanted to put this in uh one other thing that i my wife and i slingshots if you got one slingshots don't have the greatest amount of storage anyway and so this right here is handy to me i like the pocket and so i really like being able to to put some music inside the ride without buying nothing but the speaker 70 bucks plus tax still got my pocket and uh still can throw my phone gloves uh, my hat whatever that i want to put in there and still ride down the road so i hope this right here is uh, a help to somebody i'm not saying that you would necessarily want to keep it like this all the time but if you did no big deal uh, nothing wrong with the looks of that nothing wrong with it at all and uh, now the speakers don't have a lot of bass in them i will say that they don't have a lot of bass but honestly and I'm, I've rode motorcycles all my life, gold wings, etc. And if you've ever had a bike with a nice stereo on it, you take off riding and the wind starts going by your head, the bass sound goes away instantly. And so they've done these speakers right because when you stop, it's a little bit, uh, uh, maybe not as much bass in it as I would like. But as soon as you start moving down the road, you understand why they've done what they've done because you hear everything so well and when you're listening to someone just talking advertisements and something like that uh the bass seems really pretty good so um anyway i hope this helps somebody and uh if you just got a slingshot or you've had one for a while i uh, hope that you just have a wonderful time with it i'm getting ready to wash this one got uh, some bugs all over the windshield and all over the front end and um so they're fun, but they do get dirty. Listen, be blessed. And uh, we pray that God just bless you. And you have a wonderful time on your slingshot. Bye-bye.